Are you a collector or are you an investor? Let's talk about which one you are. Do you think there's a difference in price between these two? Is Silvertown more prestigious of a mint? Maybe Sunshine is. Both of these are 10 troy ounces of silver, but some websites charge more for one versus the other. Why is that? Hmm, are you a collector or an investor? Most of the time, people are buying generic silver for an investment. Yes, you're investing in silver and you want to collect different designs. Hey, fine. But at the true core, you are an investor. And what you're trying to do is you think silver is going to be worth more in the future. Do we know that? No, we don't. But that's what you think is going to happen. If you thought silver would go down, would you be buying it? Would you pay $5 more for this one than this one if you thought silver was going to be worth less next year and then even less the year after that and keep going down and down? Would you pay more for this one? Flip that and say to yourself, how can I maximize my return? Because Yes, you want to enjoy this. You want to fondle it. You want to share it on YouTube and have other people look at it and just giggle and laugh. And Hey, it's an investment. Buy it as cheap as you can. Are you collecting? Are you collecting? You're collecting, what, generic round? This is the same value as this. Somebody's going to charge $1.50 over spot for this because it's got the symbol of the American flag. But when you go to sell this, they're going to give you the same price for this and this. You want that plastic holder? Keep it. Take it out, smash the holder, throw the piece of silver on the ground, step on it. It's one ounce, it's one ounce. You're going to get the same price. This is generic. You're buying it as an investment. If you like this design, and you want to diversify your stack, well, wait to get it as cheap as you can because guess what? You're just going to depreciate your return on your investment. Think about that. Think about this as an investment because really that's what you're doing. Are you collecting because you want to get all the different dates? These are coins. This is generic. These are coins. This is minted by a government. It has a denomination. You want to collect every year because you really love the design of the maple. And that's a different scenario. You're a collector. And in whether the price, you're not going to get this for spot price plus 29 cents. You're going to pay a lot more than that. An 89 American Silver Eagle. This is not going to be spot plus 40 cents. This is going to be plus $2, $3, maybe $5. You know, Gray Sheet has them at 21. You're, you're going to pay a lot different price as a collector, but when you're collecting, collect a coin. Collect a coin. I'm not going to tell you what to collect. But smart collecting would be collecting in something that actually potentially would appreciate beyond the intrinsic value. The intrinsic value is one ounce of silver. But in 2013, you could get this for a little bit over spot. But now that time has passed, this is a collector coin. Maybe harder to find. Limited mintage. Do you know the mintages on this stuff? Year over year, turning this out. This is investing. This is collecting. You want to diversify your stack with some semi-numismatics and collect? Okay. But you want to diversify your stack and pay 50 cents over spot for this and $1.50 for that? That 
in my opinion, is the worst way you can diversify your stack. Figure out what you're doing. Are you a collector or an investor? A collector or an investor? Think about it for a moment. Two different topics. We all want to be collecting. We all want to buy what we love. We want to buy a design that catches our eye. Maybe it's in an original government holder. And you want to get it as cheap as you can. Why? It's hard to find. Maybe you're paying a little bit higher premium. However, you're collecting. This investment, I don't care what name is on this. I don't care what name is on this. This is generic. They crank these out. Thank you for watching. Are you a collector? Are you an investor? Or are you both? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.